Hello, Year of the Horse people. Welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today we are doing readings about connecting with spirit. We are using the Crystal Unicorns Tarot and we are using the Elder Futh Arc on Rose Quartz Runes. Let's do some rune readings. So <laughs> let's start with a card from the Crystal Unicorn Tarot for you. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So one of the ways that you connect with spirit, horse people, is by creating. And if you're not feeling especially creative, then it's by working on a thing. Because the more you work on it, the better you will get at it, and the more you will become focused on it, and the more it will be something that you are getting better and better and better at it. It's like practice makes more than perfect. Like practice is a is a road to perpetual increase of perfection. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just riffing. So, but this is basically how you're going to do it. Like when you do this, it becomes like a form of meditation. And through that, you connect with spirit, whatever spirit is for you. So, because people have different definitions and I ought to have been saying this all along, but I haven't. So you're the first to get that. <laughs> okay, you're the horse people. Let's get some rooms down uh, to clarify this. Yes, yes. Expand into it. Yes, for sure. Right. Perfect. Perfect. Through which you win support. So, hooray! Your central issue here is Kanaz. Kanaz is the rune of the torch or the fire. It's something that starts small like an ember and expands into a blaze, and that's what you're doing. You're basically expanding what you're doing. You're, you're opening out. You're continuing, and the more you do this, then the more there is and the more your connection is and the more you will see. Um, leading up to this, we have Burkana reversed. So Burkana is the rune of the, of the birch tree and beginning. So it's like the birch tree, beginnings and birth. All begins with B, which is the sound of that rune. So it is reversed on the path line. So I am going to read it a couple ways. First of all, one, you maybe had started something and you kind of halted but also I see something new beginning in you that you've been incubating a new beginning for yourself that maybe maybe what you had started wasn't working because it wasn't really true to your new beginning. But even if you hadn't started something and halted it, you are still actively doing something where you're you're incubating a new beginning and then now you're opening out. So it started with this. It started with, you know, the tiny little ember inside you that was this little spark that started... Um, you having a new beginning in your life. You're rebirthing yourself in a new way. And now you're in a situation where you are opening that out. And this is where this is going to come in. Because the more you do this, whatever this is for you, whether it's creativity or whether it's working on a thing or whether it's, I don't know, it could be like learning something or it could be making something happen. The more you do it, the more this becomes like a meditation for you, the better you're going to get at it and the more it's going to expand your field of vision. What is going to help you is we have Gabo, which is the rune of the gift. The gift is always an exchange and it has to do with agreements, decisions, goals, and plans. So make yourself some plans, set yourself some goals. There is a fly like right here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> These flies. <sighs> it's autumn here. So I think they're trying to find somewhere to be warm, but they're not allowed in here because we can't have them in here. We, we eat food and we don't want them to share. So <laughs> we, we don't want to share with them because we're selfish that way when it comes to insects. So, <laughs> so anyway, back to this reading. Um, yeah, so set yourself some goals. It's like set yourself, have a plan, set yourself some goals, make an agreement with yourself. Uh, if you have a one-on-one -on -one relationship that is supportive, also that will help. That's another read on Gabo. But definitely have yourself a plan, make yourself a plan, set yourself, set yourself some goals. That's going to help you continue. What isn't going to help is don't give up. Honestly, like straight up, don't give up. We have Tivas reverse. Tivas is Tears rune. Tears is the warrior god, and he has to do with A, driving forward, and B, taking care of duties and responsibilities. So don't, so just don't give up. Like don't put your sword down and stop just because you know you you may feel hesitant because it's new. Um, like you, if you feel like you might be tempted to give up on this path. This is where the helping room comes in. Um, set yourself a set yourself a goal. Like set yourself some goals. Have a plan so that if you start to feel like giving up, you can just turn yourself back to the plan and say, "No, you know what? This is what's the next thing on my list. This. Okay, let's just do this one thing, and then we'll move forward." So that's what's going to help you the most. What this is going to lead you to is not only feeling supported and protected. 
Um, but actually having, like being very aware of your support and protection around you. This is algae's, it's the rune of the elk, otherwise known as the moose, and it does have to do with protection and support, mostly outer. Um, there certainly will be inner support going on, but this is absolutely outer support, like whether it's friends and family, loved ones, um, systems in place, you know, things, you're going to feel that as you do this, the more you do this, the more supported you are going to feel. You're really going to feel that. So that, horse people, is your reading for Connecting to Spirit. I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye.